My voice sounds weird because I think I've got the plague. <laughs> There's an actual reason that I'm wearing these. It's because this way I can line up where my head is in the camera and I can see it on that little screen just over here. And so my eyes aren't constantly darting towards that because it's actually really distracting for you to see that. I may have copied this from a YouTuber called Casey Neistat. And we are back in New York City. It smells like pit. Who wears these, basically these exact glasses the whole time in everything he does. Okay, so this is retrospective of my fourth my fourth week in uh, in work. Um, I felt kind of unsure about everything I was doing, um, but one thing I was sure about was that I was going up a scale of progression. I sort of copied this progression from um, the someone called Jordan Belfort. He's in um, he's literally the guy from Wolf of Wall Street. He's, everything in Wolf of Wall Street is based on this guy's life. It's kind of like a true story. The weekend cost me two million bucks. Um, and so he equates um, mastery of anything going from four different levels. So the first level, is unconscious incompetence. So if you're unconsciously incompetent, you don't know what you don't know. You're so shit that you have no idea about anything. The second one is conscious incompetence. You're still pretty shit, but you have enough knowledge that you understand how shit you are. And that's kind of important. And then the third level is consciously competent. So it's you're good at something, but you have to really think about what you're doing to really you know, get that thing. So for example, if you're gonna tie your shoelaces, and this is the example he gives, you can tie your shoelaces, um, you have to like really concentrate and really think about it. You're, you're there and you're tying, and you're just like, yeah, shut up, don't talk to me. And you tie it, okay? Now the fourth one is unconsciously competent. So you're just totally bossing it, you do things and you're doing it without thinking. So literally, tying your shoelaces and having a conversation at the same time. You're doing it, you've got it right, and you don't have to think about it at all. Now in this hierarchy, I am at stage two. I am consciously incompetent. Okay, I actually had to record this before I left work today. I had a hole in my t-shirt for the whole day. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm a professional, I promise. Which is a really fun thing to admit to however many hundred people are watching this. It's kind of a blow to the pride, you know? And that's kind of kind of a big deal for me at the moment because uh, it's one of those weird scenarios that I've never actually been that bad at anything that I've done. But this is so alien and so new that adjusting to be kind of crap and being okay with that and realizing that that's a, a base to work off of is um, it's quite it's quite trying for someone. Especially someone as arrogant as me. And all my friends watching this are thinking, yep, pretty much. <laughs> so I'm doing things and I'm realizing that I'm still kind of crap at everything. And it's, it's stages, it's stages, I realize, but it's, it's tough. It's tough sort of coming down to this level in your own mind. But the only way of getting better at anything is just constant repetition. Doing thing after thing after thing. And it gets kind of boring. Um, but everything I'm doing I can see that I'm improving quite a lot and I've had some some really good meetings with my boss and he's been super encouraging and this is one thing I, I'm very very glad of I have like the bet what must be the best team the best people around me the best boss I'm in such such a privileged position that I have this incredible support network and of friends as well of like loads of people I've just been talking to because I, I, I work in sales, I've not really talked about that before. And I've this incredible network of people who like understand stuff and can help me. And I think tapping into that is, it's a blow to the pride, but it's something that I need to get better at. <sighs> Off to Ibiza next week. We'll see how this goes.